everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to another grocery haul i'm about to go grocery shopping my plan is to go to food lion to sprouts and to harris teeter i also have a walmart delivery coming today but anyway when i get back we're going to meet at the table Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your good comments. And I'll see you soon. Hi, everybody. I've made it back from my grocery shopping. Welcome to the table. When going into Sprouts, I really basically go to check the manager's rack for some really good things. And I think I got some good ones. So starting right here, I got the Cocoa Puff Cereal or Power Puffs Plus Cocoa Cereal by Love Grown. I think that was $1.99. And also guys, if there's any price I can't remember, I will put it on the screen. For lunch today, I picked up some sushi. We're gonna be going out and about. And so this is something quick and neat and easy to eat. I picked up two of those. I got a spicy California roll and a crispy crab roll. Both of them are really, really good. On the rack, they had these udon noodles. You just heat them up and they were on sale for 99 cents. This blueberry and raspberry organic tea I picked up, they were 99 cents, nice clean ingredients. I'm excited about this. This is the Marsala um, concentrated condensed uh, Indian curry. I didn't see that it was hot, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with it. Um, this was on sale from, for 99 cents. I think it was marked down from like $8. So I picked up two of them. Yes, the late July Garden Ranch. I'm going to use those in a recipe for next week. They were $1.99. And stay tuned, guys, for my meal plan. Um, I hope you'll be able to grab some ideas from it. These tortilla chips right here, the spicy red corn, they were $0.99. Cents. And so for everything here from Sprouts, I think the total was $28, but the sushi was $17 alone, which is fine. Okay, moving along, I also went to, this is Food Lion. And so at Food Lion, they weren't having too much of a great deal, so I didn't pick up much. I got these blueberries for 99 cents. I'm sorry, no, two for, two for $4 were the blueberries. They look pretty good. I picked up a pepper. Um, Food Lion had the Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt for 88 cents for the weekend. I picked up this Tempura Crispy Honey Chicken. That looks really, really good. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I'm a one bowl girl, so maybe I will put that over top of some rice. I'm not sure. Okay, last week I wanted some french fries so bad, so I hand cut potatoes and made the most delicious fries from those hand cut potatoes. However, I don't want to do that all the time. So with this, I picked up the Orida Golden Fries. I like these a lot. They do well in oil or in the air fryer. Picked up Simply Fruit Punch, two for $4. I got a fruit punch and um, this is Limeade. Okay, moving along. I also picked up some paper plates from Food Lion. And so this is all I got from Food Lion. The total for this is $23.66. All right, moving right along. Now we are at, let's start in the back back here. Earlier in the week, I had to dash into Giant. So I ended up picking up some things they had on clearance. I picked up this puff rice. My daughter and I like to make marshmallow treats. 
during the summer. So we have that on deck. Uh, they were, this whole big box was $1.10. The Eggo cereal was $2.12. That's just going in the pantry. I see someone has already opened it this morning. Pad Thai rice noodles um, were on clearance. I'll put the price up there. These Keto Sea Salt uh, Granola was on clearance for $2 and change. I'll put the price for that as well. And this apple raisin walnut granola was on clearance also. They also had these two boxes of rice. They're parboiled, right? One is instant, one is parboiled. We don't eat a lot of white rice, but it's always good to have in a pantry. And at 66 cents and 67 cents a box, I couldn't pass it up. Okay, and that was all at Giant. Giant was, I can't remember. But anyway, I'll put it on the screen. Walmart was $51.33. I picked up a bag of frozen kale, chopped kale just to have. A zucchini blend I picked up. I picked up these plant-based corn dogs. We eat a lot of corn dogs in the house, but my daughter is vegetarian, so... I just wanted her to have an option as well. Can't remember how much they cost, but of course they weren't cheap. Picked up more mini corn dogs for us here. Brown cage-free eggs. And then I also picked up some freezer bags. Um, this cheesecake crumble dessert. My daughter loves that. I thought I'd try the strawberry cheesecake jello dessert. Tell me how that is if you've tried it. I needed some uh, heavy whipping cream, some more ginger. I picked up the Louisiana tea. This is our favorite brand when we make our iced tea. And so I believe that, nope, I still have more for Walmart. Uh, the taco packets here and then the two bold nacho dinner kits. We are out of these, and I don't like to get out of these. So I made sure I put two in the cart. And then this was a new thing I wanted to try. I've never tried this before. This is the Honey Pecan Spread. So I'm looking forward to trying that on a thin bagel. And again, this is everything I've picked up from Walmart or had delivered from Walmart. Let's move on now to, let's see where we're going to go on the table. Let's go to my little small haul here from Harris Teeter. I wanted to grab some things off of the Evic deal. Um, this was uh, earlier this morning before I went to Food Lion. So that's why you see more Chobani in my cart. So at Harris Teeter, their deal was 97 cents but Food Lion's deal was 88 cents. So I picked up four more from Food Lion and just the three here from Harris Teeter. So I picked up those, a blueberry and two strawberry cheesecakes I picked up. Um, just wanted to have in my pantry the French dip au jus in case we wanted to do uh, a sand sandwich in the menu one night. I picked up, this was a nice find. They had this on the Evic deal for $1.97. The limit was four. This is what I really went into Harris Teeter for. Um, this, these are the Blue Diamond, uh, yeah, Bold Almonds. And so the flavor I picked up, an elote, a sweet Thai chili, blueberry, which is quite interesting and then just the plain roasted salted nuts. Um, and so these should carry us for the entire summer. These are good when we're traveling on the highway and just need something to munch on until we get a meal. Okay, and that is Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter was $11.96. Moving now to the last section at Safeway. I can't usually pass up Safeway's uh, digital deals, so they didn't have much else today, so what I did was pick 
I picked up just these few items. Um, the waters, the 33 ounce waters here, pretty big size. They were on sale for 29 cents with a limit of two. So I did the deal twice. Um, then I picked up the mango coconut probiotic. This was actually something on clearance plus there was a digital coupon, so I ended up paying a dollar and seventy-four cent for that. And then I also had a coupon for this cocktail sauce. I reached for some last week, and there was none, so I picked that up. And then this was on clearance, also the plant-based mozzarella. Can't wait to try that. And actually, again, I picked that up for my daughter. But here is everything, guys. Leave a question if you have a question about something on the table. All right, guys, let's see what's in the meal plan. This meal plan is for June 12th through the 18th. On Monday, we're going to have quiche. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it, but possibly spinach, kale, ham, Swiss, mozzarella, tomatoes. I'm going to choose from those items. Then we're going to have chopped ramen. The chopped ramen um, what I mean by that is it could have spinach or pico, shrimp, chicken, tofu, or other ingredients. That's a real quick look right there at how I do my chopped ramen. It is so, so good. All right. Wednesday night, I have loved discovering in other people's meal plans this yo-yo idea. You're on your own. And so when I introduced this to my family, everybody was looking at me like, are you serious? But yes, I'm serious. Wednesday nights, we are on our own and we're going to go for leftovers or whatever we can find. All right, Thursday night, a makeup for it, ribeye steak sandwiches and a salad. Friday night, I have some Jack Daniel ribs that I bought um, a while back. It's in a, a different grocery haul, so I'm ready to use those. I also made some homemade mac and cheese that I froze, so I might defrost that. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see. But either way, both of them should just have to be heated up. Saturday, as usual, we eat out or have leftovers. And then Sunday is Father's Day. And so I haven't checked in with uh, my husband yet. I need to find out what he really wants, but some of his favorites, he always loves wings and he always loves my beef short ribs. I make them in the Instapot. I follow a mindful mom, her recipe, but I also like smoking and grilling with AB, his recipe. I will attach both of them at the bottom of this video in the description box. Okay guys, and with that, that's my grocery haul. I think this week I spent around $140. We get a $200 budget uh, per week for, uh, for our family. And so I stayed well below budget this week. Didn't need a whole lot, so I didn't shop for a whole lot and just some filler items and just some really good deals. But anyway, that's it. Check out my other videos. And as always, thank you. Thank you for clicking on. You could have been anywhere. You could have watched anything, but I do appreciate you watching my video. Come back each week. That's my plan to post something. Um, it might be a big haul. It might be a small haul, but I usually catch the deals every week. Anyway, with that, thank you guys. Bye-bye.